Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So Jason Momoa, as he does, was spotted pounding beers in Ireland near where they're doing Game of Thrones Season 7 pre-production. So this is going to be a breakdown of what's going on, especially what's going to be happening with the Dothraki next season. It'd be so awesome if we got some more Cal Drogo flashbacks. But I think really what's going on here, you have to imagine Jason Momoa is working on Justice League and this other person here in this picture is Brian Mendoza, one of the people that's working on another different film with Jason Momoa. So they're basically just like him hanging out with friends. He's probably on a production break and just using the time to have fun or clock in on other projects. He could totally appear in a Game of Thrones Season 7 flashback, but largely what I'm expecting from the Dothraki story in Season 7, and I know you're like, we haven't really talked too much about the Dothraki, is like a little bit of comedy about them having to pass over the water. They didn't really address it like it was kind of an offhanded thing, but Dothraki, deathly afraid of water. So imagine how hard it was for them to load all the horses and all the people onto those ships as Daenerys is sailing to Westeros. But I would just expect them to have a little bit of fun, like with Tyrion's character, just because so much comedy flows through Tyrion, of him trying to organize the Dothraki as they load and unload and move towards King's Landing. So just expecting them to have some fun with that. And I'm also kind of expecting for a Grey Worm type character to rise up. Like Grey Worm is kind of the representative of the Unsullied. Like there were scenes during season six where we saw a bunch of Unsullied all fighting on screen. But when you need to interact with them, usually Grey Worm is the proxy for that. So he's kind of like the sub commander under Daenerys and the small council of the Unsullied. I feel like there's going to be somebody to do that for the Dothraki. Normally it'd be Dario, but he did not make the trip to Westeros with them. He's back in the Bay of Dragons as like the mayor of Marine living in the pyramid now. So we need a couple Dothraki characters to be sub commanders under Khaleesi. But like when Dan and Dave were previewing season 7, like I did in my last video where I kind of read what they were saying about Daenerys, about how she has all these amazing forces, what could possibly go wrong? Meaning that it will definitely go wrong for her. I feel like she'll have some problems trying to organize all these people. Like once Dothraki are on horseback in an open field, they're almost unstoppable, unsullied, some of the best, if not the best, fighters in the world. I just feel like the only way that the writers can throw rocks at that is to like cause some problems while they're actually trying to transport all those troops up to King's Landing or in the actual field of battle. There's something really interesting in the books, like when you read about the history of how Aegon was conquering the Seven Kingdoms, how he was not able to conquer Dorne because when he took his dragons and his troops, down to Dorne. Just the terrain was too hard for him to fight in. The Dornish people were able to use that to their advantage to force them off. So we might see a version of that happening when Daenerys tries to attack in Westeros. Like people using the terrain against her because the Dothraki, the Unsullied, are used to very specific conditions. You guys can let me know what you think, but there are like only a couple big problems that you can throw at armies like Daenerys's. Like they could have food problems. They could have disease problems. They could have problems fighting under conditions that they're not used to. Like Daenerys' dragons are very powerful. So like if they're sailing at sea and Euron is able to strafe them, he could take a lot of them out before the dragons take down Euron ships. And Euron is supposedly building a thousand ships. So even if the dragons were to strafe all of Euron ships, he would still be able to take out a giant portion of Daenerys' fleet while it's at sea. So you guys can let me know what you think. How do you think the writers are going to create problems for Daenerys' army? I mean, there's always wildfire too. I feel like Cersei's going to find some more wildfire. We could see them flirt with a Blackwater-esque type episode where she rolls up and Cersei tries to do a version of what Tyrion did. I still feel like if TV show Daenerys is immune to fire though, she'll be immune to wildfire. But that's just them. The rest of the fleet, all the ships, all the people, all the horses can definitely be burned by wildfire. So really like the biggest problems for Daenerys right now are feeding her army and actually getting them to the place where they need to fight without being molested at sea by Euron. But it is always awesome to see Khal Drogo chilling out with all the other Game of Thrones actors. He is like the most chill dude in Hollywood. There's a f Kevin Smith told a funny story about him how he used to be this athlete but hurt himself, so he became an actor instead. And Kevin Smith was like, do you ever wish sometimes that you maybe you hadn't hurt yourself and you'd be a professional athlete? And like this was while Jason Momoa was getting ready to go work on Justice League. And Momoa was just like, hell no, dude. This is the greatest thing that ever happened to me. 
So let it be known that if you ever catch Cal Drogo in the wild, he will probably be willing to have a beer with you. That's actually another good question. Let me know in the comments, do any of you have a Jason Momoa spotted in the wild story? Like, have you ever run into him at a bar before? But if you guys didn't know, there is a new round of the giveaway that's going on now. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. If there's any other bonus videos, like any Dothraki videos that you guys want me to do, just let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to see what they do with them in Season 7, but a lot of the big Dothraki characters from the books have either been killed off or just been skipped over. So it seems like whatever Dothraki stuff the show does will be original to the TV show. It'll be something that they come up with. While you guys wait for my next video, you can click here for Dan and Dave's big preview for Season 7, what they're saying about all the big storylines, and you can click here for the Season 7 teaser trailer. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.